And it's, and it's so amazing because it really suddenly appears. And then yeah. you get Mount Jefferson that is hardly ever seen. You know? From this? From anywhere, you know, except for the airplanes. And uh, there it is with an incredible lake. We can get closer. I gotta try and get the three of us with that in the background. Commentary on time determination and hazard. Pure time is hazard. When in chain, the spiral, mineral, animal, human, and superhuman starts. For there, time is liberated again. Also, time leaps toward liberty in the inverse process. In this way, the teaching fell from above and the superhuman was enchained to the rock. Macrocosmos 57 the time. In another place we have talked about the relativity of the point of view. We said that the logical point of view is abstract. It is a look from no place. It supposes that reality presents itself as a totality regardless from where one observes it. When according to this point of view we say that A equals A or that being is or that a concept is identical to itself, we suppose that the elasping is detained, presenting the object itself without transformation. But we see that the point of view of the observer is a mobile point, since its consciousness modifies itself instant after instant. That's what I feel happens when I study, mm -hmm. that the consciousness is modifying itself instant after instant. That's because it is. It is. Yeah. It is very different to think the object that I have in front of me to the object when thought. Proof of it are the transformations of the memory, deformations or discoveries of new characters in an object that was familiar up until now. And the microphone with a little battery indicator. <laughs> Where is this battery indicator? Is this just on right the side? side? No, on the side. My side? On the other side. On oh. the on off? Okay. Never mind, it's got to be worth pointing, so... We have to notice anyway that this is... that it is o not only the point of view which is modified instant after instant, but that this also happens to the observed reality. Thus, the paradox, it happens that the movement, when being thought, is detained as movement, passing to become concept of movement. This is so because concept accomplishes the function of detaining all transformation in order to be able to express it. A type of thought that never detains itself would never have created a law nor a mathematical theorem. It would hardly know how to abide in a world that is in constant flux. For this thought, the seasons, summer, fall, winter, spring, could not be expected again because they always would be different phenomena, always new and original. Nature without laws and thought, without laws, would leave man without concepts in a chaotic flux of non-identical variations. Science would not surge, nor technique, and the sensation of abandonment would fill its consciousness. This concept appears as an organizational function of the chaos man. With this there can be n not be confusion. One thing is to comprehend the utility of the concept knowing its limitations, and another is to believe that the concept contains the universe. The concept is put in check in front of the theme of time. Let's see how. I feel the elapsing of my thoughts and of my body, of my regular pulse, of my age, of my getting older. I hear the sound of cars in motion. In this moment, I am here. You have to laugh at that. I come from and I go to. I can, nev I can discover the movements that elapse, but my consciousness stays disoriented when I ask, what is elapsing? Towards 1500, St. Augustine said, I feel time and it is elapsing. 
but I don't know what to say when I'm asked what elapsing is. This is a case in which concept does not accomplish its original function, but to the contrary hinders it. As soon as I think time is concept, I detain it, and it escapes me, because by its nature it cannot be detained. Inversely, if I experience it simply, I cannot conceptualize it, and it is impossible for me to talk about it. One thing is to experience time, and another is to reason it, to conceptualize it. The dilemma has two terms that are exclusive between themselves or I conceptualize time in order to understand it, in which case it escapes me, or I do not conceptualize it, in which case I do not understand it. Thus the dilemma is reduced to these two terms, to understand or to experience. Hegel defines time as an abstraction of consuming, affirming that time is a concept. But anyway, it isn't the consuming in the time. Isn't something consumed faster or slower? Faster and slower. Phenomena of movement aren't they by chance because movement is displacement in time or transformation in time? The preposition in does not mean the same for designating the displacement of the mobile in the space than in the time because in the spatial ambit being in signifies to be and in the temporal ambit signifies being Juran that designs the internal transformation of the object gerund like a grammarical grammarical yes, yes a gerund a gerund an ing on the end an ing on the end anything with an ing on it right that's what I thought so Which then the poetry I know, they told Club, us. Club, by the way, right. trashed us for yes. using gerunds. Right, they did. Okay, it's a grammatical thing that I'm not aware of. Right. The oh, English language. if you say, they use it in business English all the time. They want you to say active English. Go and get the water. Mm -hmm. It's command oriented. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, and you might say, are you going to get the water? Oh, I see. Right? It's, it's no. passive. Go get it. Going, are you going is passive. Go get is it's active. Pa yeah. Go command. Kurt's a master going of... Of gerund. <laughs> no, not of gerund. You're a master of the opposite. Of oh, gerund. yeah. Do this, do that. <laughs> Pick this up, take that. No, you fix need the electricity. This. Yeah. Um, in the door of the refrigerator. Do these exercises. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Take care of yourself, right? Get stronger. Uh -huh. You're not getting older, it's not weaker. I yeah. know, you're right. He is. It's a compliment. It's a whatever, right. It, it's a definition. <laughs> okay, it's interesting. So, gerund is a... Ing. It's an inging. Anything to ing. Yeah, but how does he use it there? Because that was... Well, to be is a spatial ambit. To be. To yeah, be. you're, you're capturing it as a form, to be. But being... Being is an experiential ambit. Right. Oh. You're experiencing being. Right? Oh, so the gerund is the experience right. in that yeah. case. The, the gerund is the experience. The concept. And uh -huh. the verb. The verb. Uh huh. Very um, nice. It is the. It's a thing of language. That's what. This is the whole thing I was trying to do my monography on. The origin of of being. Uh huh. You know. Um, I'm hoping um, you're going to but, still try. Well, now it got me interested in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said before. <laughs> Today. <laughs> but it always well because we exhaust sometimes you know the inspiration uh -huh. yeah so we sometimes have to we find do. a new source yeah right ah. got excited again yes no that's perfectly especially true. when it laid it down you're very good at that you're protecting <laughs> Ken 
<laughs> yes, from I himself to, too. I have to, right, from I me have to, and uh, himself. Exactly. <laughs> I have to protect, We're going to see the three of us come up lower down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're going to see it. Yes. You're going gonna to laugh. Oh, when we get there. Yeah, right. I can't I fall off our and chairs. It's include Alan Watts and everybody mm -hmm. in the stories. The perfect synthesis of the entire weekend. weekend. And it will be on time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Right. Perfectly timed. They were perfectly Don't timed. try to detain it, whatever you do. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I, for stuff, right, right now, I'm going to yeah. just want to say that I'm letting go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Don't let go too much, though, because you are needed, as you'll right. see later oh, on. Right. Okay. You will Your be role needed. is needed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One thing is the car in the space equals it is, and, and another the car in time equals being. There's the car, but then you have the experience of being in the car, mm -hmm. like we did yesterday, right? right? It's different than there's the car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that trip was important for that. Mm -hmm. Just yes. to realize. That yeah. being um, there was no question about it. where we were. <laughs> we were, we in, were the being car. in the car. <laughs> right. <laughs> All day in the car. <laughs> and it oh. appeared here. I mean, there's no fucking coincidence that that happened. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. No. 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 It's necessary because we're thick headed. <laughs> <laughs> or because we're intuiting the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, we're. we're hmm. Something weird's going well, on here. I speak for we're, myself. We're in another unit. Headed. We ended up in another dimension with CeeLo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. CeeLo's orchestrating the whole thing here with us. He right. is. He is. He's lifting us up. He's going to tell us what macrocosm 57 means at <laughs> some point, too. I'm, I know. And be positive. Let's see another case. When it is said that man is... The intellectual error is committed of detaining movement and the transformation. Right there. It is, because it you fix the what you can't fix. Because we're like Silla said, what is the body but time itself? Mm -hmm. In the internal landscape you said that. Mm -hmm. It would be correct to say that man is not but that he goes on being. Right. He goes on existing and he wants that beyond death even, CeeLo. Right. Mm -hmm. right? We go on being. Beyond, right. Beyond the body. That's, I never thought of it from this point of view. Yes, it's interesting it's very to think beautiful. of it like that. Yeah. In respect to time. And because of liberty. Mm. Of liberty, right. yeah, and liberation, liberation and, and freedom, and, and then the entire thing. Um, that's the liberty is static, liberation is mm -hmm. dynamic, dynamic again. It's the process. In respect to time, the logical point of view does not serve for its experiencing, but it serves to tell us that time is always non-identical to itself. That's a beauty, that. I Isn't think. it? I love that one. That it is always different and that it never detains. Heraclitus affirmed, nobody takes a bath twice in the same river. Very well. Nobody takes a bath even once in the same river. Nietzsche. It is evident that the elapsing is always different. One has to be very careful then asking what elapsing is, because in that case, one will not experience fulminating existence of time that sees itself in front of the concept. For this point of view, the intuition of numerous mystics can be apprehended when they say that God is not comprehended, but is lived. I like that. But don't candidly identify time with God because that concept of equality 
would degrade the elapsing of time in front of the false concept of immobile eternity. Mm -hmm. That's a tricky one. Yeah, it is. So then, uh, he's saying that eternity isn't immobile. Well, he's saying, they say, God is not comprehended, but is lived. Lived. So therefore, we cannot say God is. No. And, and, yeah. and that's what I think when the Eastern people say, you are God for that mm -hmm. reason. Uh -huh. In the West, we say God is this. And we see it's it as an object is that we... Is omnipresent, is, 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 is. Yeah, yeah lots of is, is. And it's a degradation of the, of the, of the time, right? Of the eternity. Yes. Yeah. Of the eternity. Well, it's... Um, he says, if you try to say God equals time, that concept of equality would degrade the elapsing of time. You can't mm -hmm. say that right. because time is one instant after another. In front of the false concept of immobile eternity. Mm -hmm. So you can't, you have to almost say God's outside of time, I think. Right. You can't equate God with time because... So we get into the non-representational yeah, it, it's what we are get into the, the third quarter. Uh huh. There, I think. So then he goes to explain that that bit more about why you can't equate or identify God with the, the concept of being equal to time. The elapsing of all human consciousness is a puff in all the elapsing of the universe before the first consciousness and before the Adam there were previous instants but never existed and always there was an instant in which the first Adam appeared in space or if that Adam or energy always was there existed a previous time that's that's the gun Mm -hmm. In such a way, the anteriority of time is absolute and the positions of the supposed eternal energy or eternal matter are relative to time. Time is previous to its function and even if it is said there is no empty time but time in the things, time as a category of the real it is true that the real elapses and that the real surged suddenly, being a previous time in which it did not exist. So there's a, the time that we have now, and then there must have been a time prior to this when this time didn't exist. It was another time. Right. And there'd be one before that. Okay. Right. It's and not existing. In, in an infinite regression, you'd have to say. <laughs> you'd have to say. Right. A previous time to existence or a not yet, a time of existence or now, and a time posterior to existence or not any more. That, that's that, you know, now is a no longer uh -huh. uh, and a not yet. Right. In any instant of time, now is a no longer and a not yet. So you, I, that's my favorite way of trying to conceptualize the movement of time. The futility of conceptualization. Well, you can't, yeah, but you, you can get a flavor of, you, it, right, you can get kind it of gives a, you the structure of time. That's what I feel. Now is a no longer and a not yet. Good. You have to move through three positions to... I think our perception is mm -hmm. better way to conceptualize time than any concept because you get that you just take the distance that little bit of distance mm -hmm. and stay in the present i'll have i gotta read you my i wrote a poem about this if, you, if you'll indulge me oh of course we will
Today, tomorrow is a yesterday. Today, tomorrow is a yesterday. Caught in the structure of time, I am taken out for a brief moment, or rather in to that stop part, that catches the essence of a moment and stretches on for a while, but outside of time. In a way, it confuses that part of me that always puts everything together and hangs a name on it. I have to stop and be where I am to sort it all out in my head. Now here, now there, now back here from there, now back there to see myself here from there. And I can't quite nail it, hang a name on it, as I said. All I can do is file it away in my head. In the end, I must let go of the grasping and come back with a jolt from wherever I was. I'm back, I say, and life moves on again, but not quite in the same old way. Pretty good. That was my <laughs> attempt good. at it. I love wow, it. Wow, that's a nice yeah. one. That was when I came to see you in New York. God, how come you didn't put that on the list? Well, I don't know. I, I thought it was too uh, esoteric or something. Come on. Too. Well, it certainly fits in today. Fits in yeah, for it us. Did. Uh, finally, <laughs> yeah. I, got to, I got to read it. Right. Yeah, that's I mean, good. I was trying to deal with that, you know, uh -huh. the right. movement and the stop part. Uh huh. Right. Okay, I said empty, and not yet, and not now, and at the time posterior to existence or not anymore. I, I had not thought about the time before time existed was a time, and before that, you know. And it's a weird concept, time, isn't it? Well, it's not. Like you said, it isn't a concept. It is not. That you can get. No, you, we cannot get it. But we love trying. Yeah. If by the contrary, the universe is pretended as being eternal, it would be that from a always, which implies previous always. In this way, time is not a concept that designates the mobility of the beings, but it is the base of the mobility and of the existence of the universe. Thus, in the womb of elapsing suddenly surged something in, or a point in the space, because space itself, as function of time, is space in time. Space without time never existed, but there did exist a time without previous space. to space. Wow, how about that, Tricky? Mm -hmm. Yeah, space surges. So space is a function of time because we don't have any problem with the concept of space. Uh -huh. no. This is just really no. easy to conceptualize it. It is. And it's, yes, a function of time. But time, right. Go ahead. So it was unidimensional. Yes, yeah, space without time never existed but there did exist a time previous to space. Space surges with the surging of time in time, in the womb of time. Right, right. Yeah, I know. Beautiful. In the womb of time. In the last instance, space and point are nothing but variations of time. Just to get a form, you have to go from this point to through another. space to that point, and you're working in time to do that, aren't you? You have right. to. Right. So, the point and the space, he's saying. Can you repeat the last one? Yeah. Space without time never existed, yeah. but there did exist a time previous to space. space. And then, the next space sentence. surges with the surging of time, time the womb. in time. Right. Time surged in the womb of time. Right. So time gave birth to time, which gave birth to space, I guess. 
in the last instance, the surging of time in time, space and point are nothing but variations of time. This first point is different in T1, in T2 and in T3. Also different in its position in S1, S2 and S3. Thus the point will vary as time elapses and its variations are discontinuous. Yeah, you can't have a form without the elapsing of time really, can you? You just have a point. A point. And that is right. Morphologically speaking, is it's kept to start with yeah. something. <laughs> also, it displaces itself centrifugally. From the first instant, it moves at, at time because it is its function. It moves differentiating itself, getting away from itself, changing the perspective. I love that image, getting away from itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It can be observed as an expansion, as growth, as irradiation. In this way, Concepts. we can synthesize in one instant a point surged energy. This energy goes away from its spatial center. It goes away differentiating itself. The variations of energy are different in the measure that they elapse in such a way that concentrating themselves synthesis. It transforms in matter and matter differentiating itself transforms itself again into energy. This pulsing of the universe from matter to energy and from energy to matter, this flux and reflux in the heart of time can be synthesized in the Hindu image in the beginning surged Brahman or creative force and from this surged Shiva or destructive force and Vishnu or conservative force. These three forces of creation, destruction, and conservation, conservation wow. interpret the movement of the world. Since Shiva, passing through the concentration, variation or complementation of the energy as matter, Brahman, until reaching the slow elaboration of the element, so he really got differentiation, complementation and synthesis from the Hindu image of Shiva, Brahman and Vishnu. Which one are you? That's what I was saying. This relates to the three of us. <laughs>